dreamed it be Ending up here, ending up with me well, You could have gone anywhere, been anyone well, You stole my heart like a thief on the run Hello everybody, welcome back to the driveway. We're doing kind of vlog style today as I guess we're finally gonna do this tour of the detailing cart and the cleaner garage. And while we're waiting on, how do you turn this camera around? Hmm. Anyway, while we're waiting on some sunshade, while we're waiting on some shade to hit the driveway so I can wash the mom mobile, we might as well do this. Because people have been asking about it and I guess it's finally time to get it done. I did want to do some spring cleaning beforehand, but that's probably not going to happen any minute now. <laughs> I'm due my second child. I'll have two boys and things are going to get crazy. Uh, I haven't detailed since Wednesday or so. It's now Sunday. So got to get out here and wash something. So the mom mobile is what we'll be washing at the end of this video. But for right now, while we're waiting on the sun to go down, time has finally changed. Days are gonna get longer. It's a good time. But for now, let's check out this detailing cart and the detailer studio. And uh, I'll show you how organized chaos can get you pretty far. Let's check it out. This is the cleaner cart 1.0. It all starts with a good Husky cart. Uh, I like the Husky cart. It's all plastic, easy to uh, screw in, drill drain holes got five drain holes around it. Ryobi 1600 is screwed into the bottom, just two simple screws, just zip, zip. That, babe, that bad boy isn't going anywhere. And I have knocked over this cart a couple times. Still good to go, it happens. But we got the Ryobi 1600. We have our water source. I don't have any plumbing in the garage yet. So that's why the detail cart has to come, has to play a big factor and why we don't have a wall mounted pressure washer system just yet, but that's coming sooner or later. So the water hose to our faucet, back that away in the backyard, comes to a Y. One side goes to our Ryobi. Other side goes to our bucket filler hose right here. Very simple, easy peasy. We'll fill up this bucket. I'm able to put a wheel bucket and a rinse bucket here. Most of the time I am doing a one bucket wash. We're just shoving, you know, six, seven, eight mitts in here with clean water. This bucket does have the scrub wall system though. If I want to bust out the wash bucket as well and do a traditional two bucket wash, we got the dirt lock scrub wall system in place, ready to go. On this side of the cart that holds the pressure washer line is just uh, two simple, uh, ladder hanger hooks that I just had in the in the garage just sitting around so I just zipped them in there it gets the job done the pressure washer hose is the twinkle star off Amazon 50 foot uh, very tough pressure washer hose as it has to be pretty tough to endure you know the raggedy driveway out here you can see it's taken a pretty good beating but it's still ticking wire braided hose tough stuff and my gun sg35 i know a lot of you tell me to get the gray mtm one mtm hydro but for now this thing catches all heck as you can see it's all beat up because i'll go to put it here and miss and it'll hit the ground so I'm not investing in anything more than this one for now until we get a better system in place but it's coming we do have the MTM extension wand that I grabbed from Obsessed Garage. They had a damaged wand sale. If you pay attention to your Instagram every now and then, uh, Matt will have like a damaged item sale. Good time to pick up one of these or anything like that if you pay attention on the Instagram. We got the MJJC foam cannon, pro excellent foam cannon. Good stuff there. We got, th that's about it for the pressure washer cart, right? Over 1600 Husky cart. 
with the plastic Husky cart, you can get, you know, super creative. That pretty much sums up the pressure washer cart solution package 1.0. I've been using it for a good while now. It's been through the ringer now. I've, I've replaced this pressure washer once and I have one back up in the garage just in case this one goes out. But uh, yeah, that's why we're running Ryobi and Husky cart for now. Because eventually I do plan on upgrading, but for right now, I put all this through Hick. It sets out here in the sun. You know, I've said I've knocked over the cart a couple times. I drop this all the time. So this is uh, as fancy as we want to get it in the driveway for at the moment. But someday we'll be upgrading it pretty good, hopefully to a wall-mounted solution package in the garage. All right, so now let's go into the cleaner studio. This is my garage. It is half detail studio, half normal garage, stores a bunch of junk that you would normally store. Eventually, we'll get a little storage building, move all the junk in there. All the normal house stuff, you know, decorations, Halloween, Christmas, all that good stuff out of the detail studio into there. But till then, detail studio slash home garage. But you wanna see it, let's check it out. So in this section, the only thing we need to worry about is the vacuum cleaner and our extractor we got over here. We got extra buckets over here. We got the Hart vacuum cleaner with the 30 foot Home Depot hose ready to go. That means I don't have to wheel around the vacuum. We got the Hart three in one extractor. It's okay. Pad washer 4000. This is my old Harbor Freight tool bench that you used to see in the videos on that side of the studio, but now it sits over here. It's pretty much my drying rack and junk collector at the moment. You gotta have the red wagons for the kids, right? Over here, we got the distilled water solution package. And we got the spotless system that I hook up only during the summertime right now. If we go and look at my current water situation, you can see the water, whole water system is just being worked on right now. I think they are, uh, they are insulating the pipes in case we ever have a bad freeze again. They will be more insulated. I think that's what's going on. But anyway, the water, very bad around here. If I hook this up now, uh, it would just eat through this system in like a month. So no point in hooking it up now. Wait till the summertime, buy a new resin, hook it back up, and it'll be good to go and back in action. I did run it last year. Good stuff. We got the Cobalt 26-gallon, 150 max PSI. Quiet tech. Got to be quiet tech, especially when you have it in the garage. And uh, uh, what is this, 50-foot Diablo hose reel from the Harbor Freight. Not the best hose reel in the world, but it gets the job done for sure. And the deep freeze solution package, got to have it. Okay, on this side of the garage is where we get into the more detailed studio action. So you can see here we have PNS and Rag Company signed banners. Good stuff, got the fire extinguisher, you never know. So PNS recently sent over that banner and Sydney signed some stuff for me. So I've got a little display here. As you can see, I've already used the sign bottle, kind of accidentally smeared the signature there. But we have our signature on the gallon of the undressed. So all gravy there, the rag company. That's when I won the Dabbler details giveaway that came with a sign banner from them let's look in here this is the chemical cabinet of madness but we got coach kimmy g technic mckees and this fic text here we're probably gonna use that today but this is the mckees section got some o r there got some titan dpc whoa whoa's kind of three sealants i've been using on the regular uh pretty good stuff from all three titan amazing stuff really impressed with this as my coating topper i'm going to be switching between uh titan and the clean maker titan for that first uh protectant right after coating you want the water to kind of sheet off the vehicle instead of bead but upon returning i'll be applying clean maker which will make that coating bead like a monster got the pns section all good stuff from PNS. And then we have the random cabinet selection down here. Some old Harbor Freight polishers, small bottles. 
and foam sprayers that I'm not really using anymore. But this stuff, anytime a company sends me stuff, it kind of gets down there and we'll eventually get to it and cycle it in. That is the random, that is the chemical cabinet of chaos. Got the glove holder with no gloves in it. Detail guards, banner, can't forget them. We have this little corner is pretty much sandpaper and miscellaneous stuff. I think we got some fur reels, some lily brushes, pads. Uh, this is the microfiber laundry hamper. Got the mid on a stick pole from Auto Fiber. Haven't used it too, too much, but it's pretty good. So over in this section, we get into the meat and potatoes of what I'm really reaching for when it comes to detailing on a regular basis. So these eight IK bottles can pretty much cover an entire detail. We got clean maker mix, bead maker, dream maker, 10 to one. Got clay lube. This is usually O&R, but I wound up having a bottle, a gallon of uh, PNS uh, paint gloss that I'm going through now. Decided to give that a try. Definitely like the O&R. So as soon as I'm through with that gallon, it'll go back to O&R. And then, you know, you bust this bottle out a ton during the detail when it has that O&R in there. Door jams, clay lube, handles a lot of things. It can be your glass cleaner. So this one's a pretty important bottle. Uh, paint gloss is pretty good. You, know, you can spray carpets, anti-static and all that. But compared to O&R, which is usually in this bottle, O&R is king. We got Green Star. This is was an iron remover it is now an acid it's a light acid for pearl nano uh, water spot killer this is good stuff not completely like i said it's a light acid but you get them dirty wheels them caked on brake dust baked in wheels you need an acid around so that's what i pull out for the really bad wheels is the pearl nano water spot killer i think it's diluted one to one at the moment going down here we got pns bug off that's my bug remover of choice, really good stuff. Panel wipe, this is G-Technic at the moment, but I switched between G-Technic panel wipe and PNS uh, panel wipe. Express interior cleaner is an in interior, and we have leather cleaner, which is Koshkimi Pole Star, diluted at 20 to one with a Pole Star. You know, it's expensive stuff. If you get the leather in, uh, that's newer, you still wanna give it a wipe down, give it a good cleaning though. That's when I bust out the pole star, but that is kind of the main eight chemicals I will use. So we can go from wheels to APC pre-rinse to clay lubricant protectant, bug remover, panel wipe, and th these two can cover a full interior. Then you just need a dressing. All that's missing around here all that's missing here is like the tire shine and interior dressing. So that's the main eight chemicals that get me through a detail. Now let's move on to the polisher section. We have the Griots G8 and G9. Got the flamethrower attachment. You can attach flamethrowers to the Griots. You just gotta take off this little bit here. So we got three inch polisher. On the Griots G9, I put the five inch backing plate. Does a great job with the five inch backing plate. We got 20 foot cord and then the standard cords. Detachable cords make for great uh, storage. Really good stuff from Griots. Right here, we got the beads rack. This right now is just holding the glove box stuff. You've seen them in action on the channel. Up here, this was my coating cabinet. Now it's just kind of, that's like coating applicators and whatnot, suede applicators. These are Eagle, these are Eaglets. 350s that I give away to customers with a business card. Got some pearl applicators. Uh, right now I'm going through Rag Company car wash towels as my coating removal towels and we have creatures for the plush secondary coating removal towel and that's what we're using for coating removals. Got the scan grip that I've lost the charger to and have not charged it up in a while. Also have these little Home Depot defiant lights they work great as well. And we have a little light tripod up there that we used to, that I kind of prop these lights up on. They work great. This pegboard is rubber made something of another fast track. 
This is a very expensive system when it comes to their pegboard. This is actually two like starter sets put together and that's as much as I would get from this. Uh, now if I could go back, I'd probably just did a regular plain Jane pegboard, but I want to try this out. I mean, it works okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. These cabinets are miscellaneous stuff, vacuum parts, uh, ego blower parts, razor scrapers, rubber gloves, junk drawer. Oh, we passed up the Viper chair. Got to go back to the Viper chair. It's pretty dirty right now. Like I said, need to do some spring cleaning. But Viper chair definitely comes in handy and sets by the polishers at all times. So you're ready to go with them. This is the coating drawer. And we have our gloves, respirator, business cards, tripod, these are the coatings I have at the moment. This is what's left of the McKee's graphene coating. Keeping it in an old Avalon King box. Got some DPC T3L. I'm going to try out that coating. Got pearl pucks, G-Technic applicators, all these little suede block applicator pads. And that's it for the coating cabinet. Down here we have microfiber overstock, plus a few other things, lacquer thinner. Got to have lacquer thinner on deck at all times. PNS, more PNS gallons. Can't have too much of that. Oh, I missed this cabinet. This cabinet is polishes and compounds, all kind of different stuff in there. Got some Lone Star stuff with their tire coatings and ceramic spray. We got Phoenix. EOD one year immortal coating that I need to put in the coating cabinet so I don't forget about it. Got to get around to trying that. These are kind of the one year coatings. This, you know, Avalon King and DPC claim two years, but two year coatings I just sell as one year coating so you get a little extra bonus there. The immortal is, I believe, a one year, straight up one year coating though. And then we have the more serious stuff down here, of course, with the graphing coating in this box. And I'm gonna have, and of course I'll have PNS Legend that I need to restock as well. And then this, we have the microfiber cabinet. Right now it's probably in rough shape. But this is all wash mitts to the back with some Eagle 350s in this row back here. Eagle 500s, drying towels galore, uh, window towels, Dragos, interior towels, kind of older interior creatures or creatures that have been used as coating towels now in the interior extra pile back there. We've got all kind of scrubbing, leather applicator, Scrub ninjas, scrub mitts from the rag company, visible glass, detail factory wheel brush. Haven't been the biggest fan of, but I think we'll give it another try today and see what it thinks. So we'll go ahead and take this out before I forget to use it today. So we'll use that there. We got the spider chair from Home Depot, which will eventually be upgraded to a Viper chair. Coming soon, of course. We got old towels that have been downgraded. We got the charging station, which is a mess down there. Bissell Spot Clean Bissell Spot Clean Pro in the McCullough little steamer gets the job done for sure. Rag Company clay towels, Detail Factory exterior brush, some old detail brushes that I probably need to upgrade and get rid of there. Hose guards, uh, interior carpet brush, tire shine brush. So yeah, that's it for that cabinet there. That is mostly the microfiber cabinet. Over here, we got the Braun interior light. We got the Ego blower. This is where I hang the Gorilla step ladders. And we got the Kiddo mobile. That needs a good detail itself. All right, well, there you go. That was a tour of the Cleaner Studio and the Cleaner Detail Cart Solution Package 1.0, whatever you want to call it. But that's about it for today. 
Uh, I'll get some footage of washing the mom mobile. Right there, gotta clean it up one more time before this baby pops out. Uh, tell me what you think of my setup, where it can improve. Uh, I still need garage floor solution package. Uh, you know, Swiss tracks, uh, epoxy. So where could I improve from here? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you what content you want to see going forward. I think that's about it for now, but if I was to make some future kind of notes on improvements going forward, you know, I said I was going to get storage building and expand on the studio, especially on this side. Over here, it's kind of junked up. But that, need a solution for the floor. Uh, still working on lighting. We didn't talk lighting. So let's go back in. This is just Harbor Freight Braun lighting have five lights i think they're five thousand lumens or something uh definitely not the best so i need lighting improvements uh probably paint the walls black or something mm. so storage paint the walls flooring solution just a few things i can think off the top of my head to improve the cleaner studio going forward uh let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought of the video. Till then, I've got cleaner merch on belowthecollar.com. You can go check out this shirt. Uh, you can upgrade to the premium quality to get next level tees, super soft premium blend if you enjoyed content in any way. Go get you a shirt. Go get you a shirt. They're super comfy, high quality. We got clean, we got the cleaner shirt in pink and green. We got a uh, clean maker 10 to one shirt we got foam the world shirt more shirts coming soon but i think i'm at the maximum of shirts i can have right now until i sell some more but anyway go check you out a shirt let me know how you like the video it's time to get the washing so let's get to cleaning the mom mobile <laughs>
quiere ser Sony. It's a quick soap review. Fictex Binkle P2 Lavage Foaming Agent. You saw excellent foam. I did put a lot. I put like four ounces in that foam cannon. But uh, just trying to go through it. A big old bottle. As you saw, I got the uh, Chaos Cabinet that we're trying to get through. But anyway, Fictex 56 Spinkle. Pretty good soap. It's. I did not like the way it smelled smelled uh very funky kind of smelled like bug spray or something but there you go fig tech spinkle quick soap review excellent foam made for some excellent footage smelled like bug spray or something i don't know i didn't like the smell at all but anyway i'll go through that bottle on the next wash or whenever but that's it hope you enjoyed the video got the mom mobile washed up wish me luck in the days to come as i'm expecting baby number two and then I'll be back in the driveway in a couple weeks. Till then, like, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Let's go out with the sunset. See you guys later.